Hey guys, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix and do not find error in Windows 10, Windows 8 or Windows 7. If you want to fix this problem in your Windows, so watch the full video till the end. I am Vikas and you are watching VFX Vikas. Before starting this video, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Now first of all what you need to do is open up your browser and then here type visual c++ free distributable after typing hit enter click on the first link and then scroll down download the file according to your windows if you have 64-bit windows down to the 64-bit windows file if you have 32-bit windows down to 32-bit windows file let me show you how to check it click on windows button and then here type this pc right click on it select properties if you're using windows 7 or windows 8 just you have to type computer and then right click on it select properties and then here as you can see that i'm using 64-bit operating system so now i have to download the 64-bit exe file as you can see that x64 dot exe if you're using 32 bit download the x86 dot exe file after clicking on it it will start downloading after downloading this setup go to downloads folder and then right click on the vc redist x64 dot exe select one as administrator then here select the i agree to the license terms and condition and then click on install and then this will take a little bit of time to install in your pc it depends on a system how much time will it take after completing the process it will look like this Set up successful, click on close. If that didn't work, what you need to do is again open up your browser and then here paste the link given in the description and open it. And here you will find the download button. Click on the download button to download the file. All in one runtime download. And then here click on download start in. And after downloading the AIU runtime setup, open it up. And this will take a while to complete all the process. After opening the setup, it will look like this. And here select all of the items and then click on install. While this is installing, don't do anything in your PC. After completing the whole process, it will look like this. After applying all the steps, again open your application and comment me if your problem solved or not. So if you guys like this video, if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. If you have any query or question, comment me down below.